Hey everyone, I'm Vishnu, I'm a data scientist. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can select futures using correlation. Let's see. The idea behind correlation coefficient is take all the numeric features and check the correlation between all the numeric feature and the target. If the correlation is high, then that feature is important. How? If you see here, as age increases, salary also increases, which indicates that we can tell something about salary using age. This is what correlation also tells us. Correlation helps us to understand how two variables vary together or how two variables are moving together. In this case, age and salary are moving in the same direction, which indicates that they are positively correlated. So, age is an important feature. But if the correlation is less, then that feature is not useful. How? For example, in this case, we can't tell anything about salary using experience. Because experience is not at all moving, but still salary is moving, which indicates that they are not at all correlated. So simply we can ignore the features which are having less correlation with the target. This is the idea behind correlation coefficient. Now, Let's see the mathematics behind correlation coefficient. First, we have to calculate correlation between all the numeric feature and the target. And if the correlation between any feature and the target is lesser than the threshold value, we can ignore those features. For example, if the threshold value is 0.5, then this feature will be ignored. This is how correlation coefficient works. But how do we choose threshold value? Well, it's a hyperparameter. You have to try with different threshold value and you have to pick the one which works well for your data set. And also there is another way to do feature selection using correlation. Take all your numeric features and compute correlation matrix. Then find out the features which are highly correlated. If two features are highly correlated, which indicates that they are giving us equal amount of information. If two features are giving us equal amount of information, then simply we can drop either one of those features. It makes sense, right? But which one to drop, either F2 or F3? Well, you can keep the future which is highly correlated with target and you can drop the another one. Or else, you can find variance of both feature and keep the feature which has high variance. That's it. Finally, we cannot calculate correlation between a categorical and numerical feature. So, we cannot apply correlation coefficient on any categorical feature. In case, if the independent features are categorical and the dependent feature is numeric, then either we have to use t-test or ANOVA. In the next video, we will discuss about ANOVA and I am going to teach you how to calculate ANOVA by AND. Let's see.